Hello Aquarius. I hope that everybody's doing well. We are here with the Timeless Tarot reading. Before we get started, let's set the intention for this to be a space where everyone allows themselves to feel seen and validated and ultimately for this to be a safe space and a healing space in alignment with everyone's highest good. I'm seeing the energy start to pick up. All right. Ten of Swords, there's a focus on an ending. Now, when we talk about the Ten of Swords, this can be something that it's felt or been feeling sort of difficult or challenging to adjust to. Ten of Swords doesn't only speak about a relationship ending. It can be you beginning something that feels very difficult for you and needing to stop doing something that may feel difficult to stop doing. Like let's say you're going to start hmm, something that's not connected with a relationship. Let's say that you don't exercise and you decide that you want to start exercising, right? This can mean no more staying sedentary in the way that you were before, which may feel difficult to stop doing and beginning then to exercise, okay? So this can be something coming to an end where it was like, I liked that, I wanted that to continue. But I'm seeing that something is going to quickly replace it, okay? So whatever this is, it seems like you're gonna be able to bounce back quickly. For some of you, this definitely can be a relationship, okay? But I'm what I'm saying, what I'm emphasizing is that that's not the only thing. Because Ten of Swords is just like anything that mentally you feel like you're struggling with um, because of the way that it's ending, feeling like it's a rough transition as well, especially as for those of you that have Aquarius placements, or you're handling somebody with Aquarius placements, wherever Aquarius falls in your chart or the other person's or people's charts, it can be difficult to get the ball rolling sometimes because Aquarius is a fixed sign. And so that means because it's an air sign, it's going to deal with mental stuff going on. And because it's a fixed sign, it's going to get stuck on stuff. Just like how Scorpio is a fixed water sign, Scorpio is great at investigating things because it will stay on a topic that it's interested in and stay in that direction. And so it's like if you care about something, it's not letting it go. It's staying consistent with that, with the Scorpio placements. With Aquarius placements, it can be mentally getting stuck on something, but that's why it's seen as such a groundbreaking sign because you stay with it until you discover or explore or have a breakthrough. And so something challenging is going on here where it's kind of like you being ripped off of the lane that you were in before like off of the road and being put somewhere else completely especially mentally because we have swords here so I am seeing something physically that's coming through for you um that is entering okay after this situation I'm seeing you may not be feeling at your best when this comes through just giving like more insight as to where you may feel you are when this happens. This is going to come in quickly. It's kind of like the Knight of Pentacles but sped up here with this Eight of Wands. So the Knight of Pentacles is you getting into something that you're doing more consistently. It can also be an offer or a proposal that's coming through, but rather than it being slow as it normally is, it's being sped up because of this card. So, you have an ending. Immediately, like, born from that ending is an offer coming through. It's coming in quickly. This means also that it's not going to be deterred. This is like a straight shot in a particular direction. I think the high priestess, yeah, high priestess on the bottom of the deck. This may not have happened yet. You could have sort of felt this coming. Maybe felt something was coming, but not known what. This can be an opportunity too that's coming through, but it may be like presented by a person because we have a court card here. 
I'm looking at Virgo wanting to pop up. But judgment card. You're going to assess this before you do anything with it. I'm seeing you look at it very, very closely. Because you're, you're at the point where you're not trying to get involved in something that you're just going to have to end up leaving anyway. So it looks like that's why. Also, too, this may be like requiring some sort of commitment from you. And that's also why you want to look at it, too. Like before, yeah, before you sign yourself up to this or commit to it, I'm seeing you want to check it out. seems like the challenge that you're facing when it comes to you getting involved in what's coming up next for you is you still being stuck on the ending mentally. Like not having fully processed. But I'm actually seeing, I'm seeing you definitely pick back up, like bounce back. So this would have been something that you recognized was difficult, you recognized it was a challenge, and then you also overcome that successfully. Seems like it also inspires you to take action as well, seeing you actually look quite prepared Almost as if you were waiting for this moment. Carefully. So you're in like a prime position to be taking action, to be making decisions. Um, there's a sense of autonomy here that you have but i'm seeing you figuring this out carefully this is you really considering the moves that you're making the decisions that you're making how you're doing things there's a recognition the king of wands is you being in a spot where you recognize your responsibility and also that action is needed on your end that things are not going to get done unless you're doing them. And two of pentacles is you figuring out what that looks like particularly for you and just cautiously or mindfully figuring that out. Interesting. We're seeing Gemini wanting to pop out. Lovers, Gemini. Seems like you're figuring out your way with another person. It feels like where you want to step up and involve yourself and how you want to involve yourself, like in all of the ways that one may take action within a relationship but this does seem like somebody that you realize that you have a connection with but you're still figuring out the dynamic between the two of you and like where do I step up and where do I not like where do I lead where do I let this other person lead because if the king of wands were 
here without this two of pentacles it would just be you being like follow the leader just do what i say and it can be a more assertive energy but because the two of pentacles is here i'm seeing there be this like negotiation of when is it appropriate for me to step up and take action or to assert myself or to say i want it like this not like that um or to take action, be prepared to take action, and also when to allow somebody else to. So there's a sense of balance here, of you balancing your masculine and your feminine energy, which all of us have masculine and feminine energy equally. And there's interplay between the two of them. It's like two different sides of the same coin. Can't have one without the other. This is creating big change within your life. Something, something is changing because of your dynamic with this person that you're figuring out right now. So you may be doing things differently this time around. Hmm. Strong Scorpio energy here. Seems like there's a, a difference when it comes to how you're handling things emotionally as well and then how you express that. Like, I'm seeing you get more action-oriented, and I'm also seeing something be transforming emotionally for you. It seems like you're also taking a creative liberty as well, recognizing that you don't have to stick around for something that you don't feel like is a right fit for you. I'm seeing there be um, definitely this sense of responsibility here that you see maybe also too there's this change emotionally for you because you could have felt like there was something more real that you wanted to connect with and for some reason that may have not been happening before because i'm seeing there be more of a strive towards something that feels very pure and real like something you can really connect with emotionally There's conflict that's being addressed. I'm seeing on one end, there's something that part of you is like, I should walk away from this because I don't feel like it has what I want. But then there's this other part of you that feels conflicted about walking away. Maybe because you want to avoid conflict, like the consequences of this. Avoid meaning maybe not wanting to have to deal with that. This can also be, it doesn't, for some of you, it definitely has to do with this other person of not wanting to deal with having to um, approach that situation with this person. But there can be more behind that, like, there can be a part of you that's like, maybe I can still find what I'm looking for. Um, there can be, like, worrying about the other person's feelings as well. Like, just all of the things that pop up when you're connecting with another person but I'm seeing something that's worth working on for you because you're like I don't want to be unfulfilled like I'm actually looking for and trying to 
explore my pursuit of happiness here and you can sort of like see it a bit in the distance as related to this situation so something is coming to an end but it was necessary even if it feels like you are approaching a painful situation this needed to happen Ten of Swords also implies that this was inevitable. The challenge is the change, doing things differently. Allowing for growth and expansion rather than doing things the same over and over and over again. That's the challenge. I'm seeing an offer, I'm seeing a proposal, I'm seeing something getting moving. This is successful. Let's, um, let's use an example. Say that you'd been um, doing something that needed to come to an end. This is you finally, I'm hearing getting grips, maybe coming to terms with something. I'm finally being like, this is going to hurt, but I need to rip the bandaid off, I'm going to do it. I know that it's been challenging for me to make a change, but I'm going to do it, and I'm doing that. This can be you suiting up and making an offer to somebody, which it's like, you finally getting into move. I'm here getting off the couch. You finally moving and being like, I'm going to take ownership. I'm going to do something. Making an offer. This may be an offer that you make to somebody, actually. This can be two people connecting successfully. Moving into a direction where you are taking action. This is you being like, I'm accountable. I'm responsible. This is me understanding that if I want to see something in my life, I'm responsible for creating that. This is calling judgment, meaning looking into a situation of something that you're deciding, something that needs to be done. So you being like, how do I figure out how to make this situation happen? How do I move past what's not working for me and move towards what is working for me? How do I take that risk? How do I take that chance? How do I create that movement? This is figuring out how to, this is analyzing the situation, figuring out how to do something. The something is walking away from what you feel like is no longer connected with what you want and walking towards what you do want. Something going on within a relationship. For some of you, this can be a marriage. This can be a commitment with somebody that you are connecting with where things do not feel good between you and this person. I think that about sums it up. Okay? We are looking at Gemini. I am hearing Taurus. Gemini, Pluto, Mercury, Scorpio. Okay, my friends, we are going to leave the reading here. I would like to, I'm getting Virgo too. I would like to thank everybody for tuning in. Thank you for connecting. I'm wishing everybody love and light and healing. And I hope to catch you guys next time.